What's good, YouTube? It's your favorite BBW coming at you with another video. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're coming with another one. And yes, Chris Seals, you made it. You made it to Miss Crystal Knightley News. Special edition. Because if you don't know who he is, I'm going to help you. Chris Seals became a bigger figure on YouTube with millions of views. Him and his wife, ex-wife, Queen Naja, used to make a lot of videos, and they became very likable. Okay? But, they broke up for whatever reasons. You know, she claimed he was physically abusive, mentally abusive, and he also used to cheat a lot. <laughs> Just so happened, one of the girls was Parker McKinley, who he was cheating with. Yes, I know you're like, who is Parker McKinley? Oh, you know her. From off my wife and kids. Better known as Little Katie. Yep, that's her. Okay. Three weeks ago, Chris Seals' ex-girlfriend, Parker McKinley, gave her pictures to a media outlet. The media outlet posted them. A picture of her with a black eye. A picture of her sides. The side of her body was abused badly. Okay. And after that, people was wondering, I know I was wondering, okay, so who abused you? Did he hit you? Was it Chris? Um, did you press charges? You know, and she never said anything. So, the media just was wondering, like, okay, what's going on? Well, Chris Seals then make a video, like, two weeks later he makes music about the situation and people like okay we lost still okay then if that's not crazy enough chris seals get locked up this past week okay if that's not crazy enough he then gets out we all find out that she did press charges that's why he was locked up but if that's not even crazy enough he gets out and he posts a video on his own page talking about Basically, him hitting her. But if that's not crazy enough, he was also talking about him hitting her on the phone with someone else. And they was recording exactly what he was saying. Like, you cannot be out here lacking like that, Chris Seals. You cannot. And I want you to understand something. You caused this on yourself. And I want you to know something. The same thing that made you will break you. And that's the internet. This internet industry made you. And this internet industry will break you because the way you're using it, the way that you do things. It's time for you to grow up. You don't get any younger. We have no business putting your hands on that woman. Now, about two weeks ago, maybe, I remember him and his ex-wife boyfriend was into it. His name is Clarence NYC. And he was jokingly posting and he posts because they was going back and forth. That's why he was adopted. And it makes me wonder, is that why he have a problem when it comes to abusing women? Because if a man doesn't love his mother and respect his mother enough, he will abuse women. He will disrespect women. That's the first woman who you're supposed to love and cherish and know how to take care of. That's where you learn yourself women respect at. So I just wonder, not making any excuses for him, I just wonder, what is it about him hitting women and verbally abusing women? What is it about you physically and verbally abusing women? Because it's not okay. It's not acceptable. What are you showing your son? What are you showing your son? That is not okay. You're supposed to be an example for him. What are you doing with yourself? You have to understand what you did was wrong and you're going to pay the consequences for it. Now, back to Parker McKinley. She's not the sharpest knife in the jaw. But he did not have any right to put his hands on her. Now, but what I'm going to say about Parker McKinley, and the reason why I say she's not the sharpest knife in the jaw, is because she not only stayed in the same house... That him and his women, his him and his ex-wife used to do vlogs on, showing when they first got the house. Not only did she stay in that house with him and do videos, she also used to sit there 
and make it seem as if it was okay. You doing videos in this man's ex-wife house. Because he was married to Queen Niger. That's not okay. So you got to ask yourself, what was you doing there? You got to hold yourself accountable for standing in a relationship and knowing he was that kind of man. But I'm going to leave you guys on this and I want you to watch the video clip. I'm going to put it in here somewhere. And I want you guys to leave me comments on what you think about this situation. As I always say, if you don't want to be a crab, think outside the bucket. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you can be down with the notification squad. I'm out, y'all. Have a good night. Everybody was at my house. All my friends seen it, what she did, everybody. But they can't talk about it because, of course, they don't want to. Like, all my Antonio, quad, my, my uh, chef was there. Everybody was there, bro. And she's making it seem, she's playing the victim, making it sound like this horrible person. When I'm not, bro, I'm tired of everybody keep bashing me, keep coming for me, bro. Nigga, I'm, I'm in the house sitting down playing a game with my friend. She come in the house. Everybody get out, screaming and stuff. Lock me in a room. I, cl I calmly said, Parker, listen, I don't want to talk, sweetheart. I really don't want to talk to you right now. You drunk right now. I don't. I got my son in there. She's like, okay, let's go outside. So we go outside to talk. Boom. She's screaming and stuff. I don't want to talk to her, so I go back in the house. She locked me back in the room. I screamed for Antonio's name. I'm like, Antonio, please come help me because I know if I even try to push her out the way from the door, anything, she's going to start hitting me because it's not the first time she hit me. She spit on me multiple times. She hit me, nigga. She spit on my face three times. She punched me, she, she pushed uh, Antonio, bit Antonio in his arm, everything. Y'all don't know, I'm not just about to go around hitting nobody, especially no female. We have proof, all type of stuff, bro. We have pictures. So anyways, I go in the house. She won't let me go. She hit me on my head, so I got my hand in the center the whole time, so she won't hit me. She steady hitting me. She run over to the counter, throw a Hennessy bottle at me. So at that point, my son is right there on the couch. I have CJ right there while she's doing all of this. I run over there, go grab my son. She threw a champagne bottle at us. So that's when I'm trying to like, at this point, I'm self-defense. I'm like, bro, why are you doing all of this? Why are you doing all of this? I'm trying to protect me and my son. She's throwing everything, bro. And I'm trying to grab her and hold her. I'm grabbing her like, stop, please stop. I'm at, at this point, I'm literally begging her for mercy. Like, bro, like at, at this point, I'm begging her like to stop. Like she just won't stop. And like, it's, it's not even cool because <laughs> not everybody just think I'm just this bad guy, and it's just, it's just not cool, bro. That's just, it's it's not cool. But anyways, and now you got this girl trying to blackmail me because I don't want to talk to her. Like, what's wrong with you females, bro? Like, what's really wrong with you females? I I don't know, bro. I'm not getting into no more relationships, bro. This is crazy. All this is crazy. And all my friends, they seen everything. It was multiple. I told them not to. I told them not to say anything. That's, it's just crazy, bro. How how you how females have power to just ruin somebody's life. That's just crazy, bro. It was a guy in there. He was a guy in jail. He said, "Bro, I called the police on my girl, and he ended up going to jail." Like, what sense does that make, bro? She broke everything, and she's doing all of this in front of my son, bro. Like, why are you doing all of this?